Hey guys, Silvercrafter here, and welcome to a LEGO uh, Legends of Chima review today. This is my first Legends of Chima set, and I must say, it is awesome. We will get to the reasons why soon enough, but it is really, really cool. Um, the box, as I will show you right now. This camera up. Oh, okay, there we go. You can see, recommended ages 8 to 14, set 70003, Eris's Eagle Interceptor, 348 pieces, and it retails for $34.99 at the Lego store and $39.99 at Toys R Us. Alright, our figures included here, um, if we zoom the camera back down, we have Eris who is the princess of the Eagle Tribe. Then we have Rizo and Razar of the Raven Tribe. Um, and then we have the Eagle Interceptor here and the Raven Glider, which we will get to in a minute. Alright, let's start with the simply amazing minifigures. Legends of Chima has really introduced possibly some of the best minifigures I've ever seen in my life. Um, so let's start out with uh, Rizo. He is of the Raven Tribe. So here's his weapon. We'll get to that in a minute. This is the figure in its wholeness. Very, very nice. Now we'll get to the details. Um, you can pop off his little Raven headpiece with his metallic eye right there. If you take that off, you will get a cool little face printing along with a um, uh, double sided face with different expression. Alright. Now, if we pop off the head here, we can take this off. With the, um, the black wings with the body armor along with the uh, chi crystal in the middle. Alright. In terms of the body and legs, we have the peg leg, the silver peg leg, which is awesome. All these ravens seem to have, like, severed limbs and stuff. Front with a chi crystal and, like, a metal harness. And on the back, more of the metal harness, but no chi crystal on the back. All right. Um, so now that we've done that, let me put all of his accessories back on. See, you can tell these figures are amazing from the sheer amount of things that you, you put back on them. These are possibly some of the best Lego figures I've ever seen. Simply ever. Here is his weapon. As you can see, it has the raven-like beak right there. On the end to stab people with. And then that blue part is the chi, which powers the uh, red laser. Um, and then you can just pop that in. Right there. Very, very nice weapon. Nice big weapon. That is Rizo. Next, we have a. Uh, where is he? There you are. We have Razor. His face is whole. He does not have like a metallic eye. However, as you can see here, he has a hook, which the pirate sets had too. This is my first minifigure with a hook, which is awesome. Now, first. Let's get to his weapon since it's so small. It is actually like a lightsaber laser in the middle of this new Legends of Chima piece. And it makes an epic like saber type sword thing. The figure. See? They're very, very nice. Take this off. The awesome thing is how unique these are. Every single figure has like unique printing and unique head pieces and stuff. So there you go. There's that. Um next. Oh, there's his face right there. Other double-sided face. Pop off the uh, head here. There we go. His armor is the literally a copy and paste of the other guy's armor. Exactly the same. Chi crystal. And then his body is the same. However, he actually has leg printing unlike the other guy. The other metal harness with the chi crystal and then the leg printing with talons on the feet, which looks awesome, and the leather straps and stuff. So, let's go ahead and put that figure back together. 
Hold on, messed it up. Armor and the wings back on, and the head and the thing and sword. Yeah, I know these minifigures are so amazing. I have to. T I really want to take some time on them because they're so awesome. This is going to be a big review. Here we have Eris. She is the princess of the Eagle Tribe. Um, honestly, this is the coolest figure out of the three, just because it's so like royal looking. Um, the weapon is really awesome on this figure too. Um, look at that. It's a golden battle axe with dual chi crystals on the sides. Very amazing weapon. Figure, here is it in its wholeness with all of its armor on. But the first thing, first order of business, pop off her headpiece. You get this awesome, definitely different mold. The crown, because she's the princess. There she is. This is obviously a female. See the eyelashes? Kind of a frowny and a smiley face. Take that off. And the only difference in these pieces is that the um, excuse me, the, um, body armor is golden, and the, and these are white things to match the body. The sky blue and the white. And then here is the printing. Obviously it's a girl, as you can see, right there, by, like, the two-piece type thing. Um, and then on the back, you can see, it kind of continues with the two-piece type thing. And then she has, like, gold, she has so much reflective gold on this figure, it's amazing. Alright, so let's go ahead and put all of the armor and stuff back on. So that she can be ready for battle. Alright. Now we can finally get on to the vehicles. Figures aside. Okay. Now here. Alright, there we go. Now we have, um... We have the Raven Glider, which is obviously the smaller. The cool thing about these Legends of Chima sets is that they don't look exactly like the animal, but they kind of capture the animal. See? It's a raven with the red eyes and the gray beak and the wings. And this is a glider vehicle with the two more of those Chima swords, if you wanted to take those off on the front there. I love the wings. They can move, you know, forward if you wanted, and they can go backward like that to be more arrow-like. These pieces are new to Legends of Chima and they're probably going to be using a lot of them. I mean you already get, let's see, ten of these in this set. Two black, two light blue, and six dark blue. Alright, as you can see, see there's the chi on the back right there. And then we have the control joysticks right here. This is actually where Razor goes. He actually stands on the back here, and as you can see, he kind of like mans the controls here, and um, tries to steal the Chi Crystal from the uh, Eagle Interceptor, which we'll get to now. This vehicle is very large, very large vehicle. As you can see, it manages to look like an eagle while still looking like some sort of a glider. This is my hand. I have a very large hand, you could say. And look at that. Like, my hand can't cover it. It's, it's a very decent-sized vehicle, you could say. Um, I'll go ahead and show you now. There is the eject feature. Where the head can pop off with ease. It just flies. It's kind of like a... Um, Oh, those wrappers, I just opened this, my cat's stepping on the wrappers, making like crunching noises. Um, as you can see, the cockpit opens just nice. It's not like section opening, it's just like a smooth open close. Um, and I will show you Eris in that in a minute. Let's pop the head back on. One problem I have is that the head, although it's already kind of pointed down, it can't move up. I mean, it, you can push it farther down, but it's like can't push it any further up than looking down like that. Um, as you can see here, if I lift up these wings, you can see the legs? You can see how that works. They kind of like, you know, they can come out back here if you wanted them to. Do that. Yeah, that's, that's about, it's about all the articulation for like the legs. 
very nice smooth, not very many studs there. The talons are entirely poseable. These on the sides, I believe, are new pieces, but I could be wrong. And these are all in yellow, and then you have the one back talon here. And those are entirely poseable. Um, you have, let's see, the wings with the Eagle Clan symbol right there. And as you can see, already four more of those pieces with the light, nice light blue. My camera can't really capture this color, but this color is amazing. It's like the Silver Crafter Channel blue color. But it looks just like light blue on here, but it's like a deeper blue. It's awesome. Very nice coloring. My The Eagles and the Ravens are my two favorite tribes of Legend of Juma. And then the tail, as you can see, has some very nice articulation for the tail. I mean, all four of these can move separately. All four of these little fins can move separately. Or feathers, I should say. Now, the back part here, the smoothing, lifts up. And as you can see... The, I love these Chi crystals because they're like the color of these, but they're translucent. I mean, look at that. Brand new piece. These are Chi crystals, and this is what Razor is after. Now, also, I can show you. This is actually a prison. It says on the box it's an in-ship prison. So if I take good old Legolas here, who's a full-size minifigure with a hair piece. So Legolas is a rather, like, large figure. So, and if you just place me, kind of got to place them in, like, there you go. He fits in, like, the other way, like, with his head, like, down here, but as you can see, it's a little prison, and there's little bars right there on the side that they can see out of. So, yeah, and that's meant for the ravens. Put him back over there with his bow and arrow. Okay. Now that we had that out of the way. Let's get to Eris in the cockpit. Literally, I just built this set. Oh, also, there's some nice, like, motor decoration right there. But literally, I just built this set, so I actually have not put Eris in here. And the one thing that sucks, though, is that you have to take off these little wing things right here. The box actually shows you putting them as part of the actual wings on the thing. But I think I'll just leave them right here until I get the figure out. However, everything else, like the headpiece and the body armor, can stay on. So, there you go. And the thing that freaked me out at first is that on the Lego on the Lego Shop website, they actually have the picture. It doesn't even show the wings. It has just when it shows the figures, it arrow doesn't have any wings. And I saw that and I was like, oh my god, what? But when I finally got to the Lego store and I looked on the box, I saw that she does have wings, in fact, which is awesome. So, let's just put her right there. Her arms would go down. There we go. And the beak is snapping off, of course. But don't worry. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That's better. Awesome. Oh, also, this is kind of a strange thing, but I really do love the beak. I really do like the beak. Alright, so, what do you know? There you go. Eris fits perfectly in there, you know, besides the wings. and I think you can put the weapon in there. I'm just going to not, though. Alright. Oh, and there's also some more chi right there, and as you can see. Where the head goes back on. Just more chi. Hello? Oh, there. Crap, what the heck? It's not, like, bugging up here correctly. There we go. So, yes, very awesome set. Like I said, it retails for $35, which, because each piece is worth $0.10, cents, um, you actually get more than you're worth, including the extra pieces. If you just count the normal pieces that you use, it's two pieces over price, which really doesn't matter. But if you count the extra pieces, you actually get roughly, like, 10 pieces over. So, very nice set. The price is perfect for the size and the piece count. Um, I recommend getting it at a Lego store because it's only like right price there. If you go to Toys R Us, they're going to overprice it no matter what it is. Um, as you can see in comparison with the Raven Glider, it's like the Raven Glider is nothing unless you use the uh, eject feature, and they're about the same size. Um, so, yeah, this has been Silver Crafter. I'll see you guys next time.
Check me out on Facebook under J Silver and DeviantArt under Silvercrafter 008. See you guys next time. Peace. I rate I rate this set 10 out of 10.